Back in summers, I always found solace in the quiet solitude of the Appalachian Mountains. The serene landscape, breathtaking vistas, and the sense of isolation offered a much-needed escape from the chaos of my everyday life. However, little did I know that within those ancient hills lay a darkness that would forever change my perception of both myself and the world. It was on a cool autumn evening that my encounter with the Appalachian Horror began. I had decided to venture deep into the woods, eager to lose myself in the beauty of nature. As the setting sun colored the sky in hues of orange and pink, I found myself in a clearing surrounded by towering trees, despite being familiar with the forest's secrets. An eerie presence seemed to envelop me. The rustling of leaves underfoot and the occasional hoot of an owl created an unsettling symphony. A sense of unease settled in my bones, and I pondered whether it was wise to continue exploring this place of profound mystery, but my curiosity pushed me forward. I followed a narrow trail that wound its way through the heart of the woods. The dense foliage cast strange shadows around me, distorting my view of the path ahead. It was as though the forest itself was trying to deter me from uncovering its secrets, time seemed to lose its meaning as I walked, the sounds of civilization fading away until all that remained was the rhythm of my own heartbeat. It was in this moment of solitude that I stumbled upon a dilapidated cabin. Its weathered wooden walls stood as a testament to its age, and an air of malevolence pervaded its crumbling structure, out of a mix of curiosity and an overwhelming sense of dread, I hesitantly approached the cabin's entrance. The faded paint on the door hinted at a forgotten past, and as I reached out to touch the worn handle, a sudden gust of wind slammed the door open. The darkness within beckoned me to step forward, and against my better judgment, I did. Inside, the cabin was a time capsule frozen in chaos. The scent of decay and age filled the air, overpowering my senses. Objects lay strewn about, covered in a thick layer of dust. It seemed as though the cabin had been abandoned for decades, yet something whispered in my ear, telling me that I was not alone, a tremor ran down my spine as a flicker of movement caught my eye. I turned towards it, only to find myself face to face with a mirror. But it was not my reflection that stared back at me. Instead, the face of a stranger, twisted with fear and despair, greeted my horrified gaze, the sight was simultaneously mesmerizing and terrifying. The reflection seemed to speak to me, a voice echoing in my mind, recounting dark tales of an untold past. It claimed that I was an echo, a fragment of its own existence trapped in this world. It revealed that my purpose was to uncover the secrets of this forgotten cabin, to lift the curse that bound us both in this eternal purgatory. As the reflection faded, I felt a surge of determination course through my veins. With newfound clarity, I scoured every inch of the cabin, unearthing hidden artifacts and unraveling the dark history that shrouded the house. It was a tale of forbidden rituals, ancient powers, and a pact with a malevolent force that had cursed the inhabitants for generations through nights of restless exploration and days of relentless research. I pieced together the puzzle pieces of this Appalachian horror. The mirror had become my guide, revealing the path towards redemption and freedom. The spirits that dwelled in the cabin watched with anticipation as I uncovered the final piece of the puzzle, an ancient incantation that would break the curse and grant us all release. With trembling hands, I recited the words, feeling a surge of energy ripple through the cabin. Shadows danced on the walls as the curse shattered, and for a brief moment, the spirits were granted peace. Inside, the cabin was a time capsule frozen in chaos. The scent of decay and age filled the air, overpowering my senses. Objects lay strewn about, covered in a thick layer of dust. It seemed as though the cabin had been abandoned for decades, yet something whispered in my ear, telling me that I was not alone, a tremor ran down my spine as a flicker of movement caught my eye. I turned towards it, only to find myself face to face with a mirror. But it was not my reflection that stared back at me. Instead, the face of a stranger, twisted with fear and despair, greeted my horrified gaze, the sight was simultaneously mesmerizing and terrifying. The reflection seemed to speak to me, a voice echoing in my mind recounting dark tales of an untold past. 
It claimed that I was an echo, a fragment of its own existence trapped in this world. It revealed that my purpose was to uncover the secrets of this forgotten cabin, to lift the curse that bound us both in this eternal purgatory. As the reflection faded, I felt a surge of determination course through my veins. With newfound clarity, I scoured every inch of the cabin, unearthing hidden artifacts and unraveling the dark history that shrouded the house. It was a tale of forbidden rituals, ancient powers, and a pact with a malevolent force that had cursed the inhabitants for generations, through nights of restless exploration and days of relentless research. I pieced together the puzzle pieces of this Appalachian horror. The mirror had become my guide, revealing the path towards redemption and freedom. The spirits that dwelled in the cabin watched with anticipation as I uncovered the final piece of the puzzle, an ancient incantation that would break the curse and grant us all release. With trembling hands, I recited the words, feeling a surge of energy ripple through the cabin. Shadows danced on the walls as the curse shattered, and for a brief moment, the spirits were granted peace. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet, please like, share, and subscribe.